Yeah, it's dark. Come on, son. I got knives to make. through this phone it is lit up out here but it's really not it's just that this phone has a really good camera on it that's my solar panel thing blinking saying it's not charging because it's dark and I'm gonna drink a cup of coffee right here and wait for the Sun to come up all right got my new switch I'm just going to test it to make sure it works. All right, now I'm going to I'm going to take it back off. I'm going to go in and put it. In, uh, I got to take the, the switch face apart and uh, pop the old switch out. Pop the new switch in, and then the screws all come in from back here. And I can probably get this one up top and this one down below here, but uh, I may have to tip this over on its side to get the other two. But I'm gonna try not doing that. It's not heavy, it's just I'd rather not do it if I don't have to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna magnetize a screwdriver and uh, I'm gonna show you how, how I do that. All right, I think I got you set up right. So uh, let's do this first. This is a non-magnetized screwdriver. And uh, this is, a, ooh, you're not quite in there. Hmm, you still focused, I guess. So, this is a magnet, and here's what you do. This is not a very strong magnet. I have another magnet out by my forge that I check for uh, temperature on my knives. So if this doesn't do it, I'll use the big magnet. The bigger the magnet you use, the, the more magnetic hole you can make in this. forget what the uh, the process that's going on I think you're facing all the electrons in one direction maybe it's neutrons I don't know already worked but I'm gonna keep doing it because I really wanted to grab a hold of the screw and hold it while I try to reach in around from the back side of the saw and uh, screw it in. I'll, I mean, I'll tip it. It's not that big a deal if I got to tip it over, but I'd rather not if I don't have to because these days everything heavy hurts. all four of them so that's done now I got to uh, knock this pin out of here
okay that's the top so that's the top somebody made a very good point i was curious why they would make something that does something so simple as on and off why they would make it so complicated and uh they suggested that it might be because if the power went off and you walked away and left your saw on and then the power came back on yeah i suppose that is a good uh you know that's a possibility for sure and something you certainly wouldn't want to have happen uh you know, your saw come on while you weren't there. Alrighty. I'll put these away. Okay. So, I was going to hang on to this just because, uh, it's like what you would call now a temporary switch where it only turns something on as long as you're holding that switch. But with my luck, it would suddenly start working and then I would panic and forget the, how it turns off. So, all right, let me get you and we will go and put this on the saw. That's why I magnetized it. <laughs> All right, let's go sand some knives. I'm done for the day. I didn't get a lot done. I got my table saw fixed and put back together. And I sanded a little bit, and uh, I just... My arms were sore, and my wife went for a ride on her motorcycle, and I didn't leave the house or get started until she got back because uh, I worry, and I can't enjoy doing nothing else. So I sat there in the front porch, and I wait for her to come back, and then when she came back, I went to my shop, which was kind of late. So anyway, I don't have a whole lot to show for my day except what I'm doing right now. <laughs> and about... 30 minutes, I'm going to feed these fur kids, and uh, tomorrow I'm going to get back at it and uh, probably going to get the uh, BC Special heat treated and in the tempering oven. See you tomorrow. One, one more thing. Uh, those knives, those pictures of knives were just examples of knives that I will never make because their intended purpose is to, uh, you know, their intended purpose isn't one that I want to make knives for, and you decide what their intended purpose is. But, uh, you know, those, in my opinion, are weapons, and the knives I make are not weapons. So that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs>